What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 53 of Autodesk Fusion. Today we're working on something a little bit, um, I say this is a fun project. He's making a Pythagoras cup or Pythagorean cup, depending on who you ask. Um, this cup is pretty interesting. Uh, one, it's, it's a cup where if you put too much of a liquid into it, it will all spill out the bottom right here. Um, and so here's how it works. And then I'm gonna talk about how we build it. So here's a section view of what we see so far. And uh, as a person uh, pours more and more liquid into the cup, it's going to fill up. If the liquid gets above this uh, middle layer right here, due to pressure, air pressure and things like that, the water will, or wine or whatever it is, will go into the cup, up the chute, and then down the spout out the middle. Now, once this is started, it creates a suction, and so it's gonna spill the whole cup out and it's gonna leak throughout the bottom. And so how did we build this exactly? You know, so you can see right here that um, there is a connection point right here. So this this is one whole unit, and um, how, do we, how do we build this exactly? So let's go here, um, and then um, we'll start Start a new design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on um, insert and we're gonna insert a uh, canvas for our project. Now, what I've got here is just kind of that a picture that explains the Pythagorean cup really, really well, um, but we're gonna do some small edits to it. That way we are able to um, be able to use this cup well. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this canvas right out of the way, and I'm gonna make my origin planes viewable. And so what we're gonna do then is we're going to line this up to where my cup is about, this cup right here on the right, is exactly or pretty close to my origin planes here. And that looks okay. So what we're gonna do, is click OK, and now we're going to do is create some of our profiles. So what I'm going to do is create a sketch on this plane. I'm going to do a line all the way through top to bottom. Now this is going to be a construction line uh, because this is where I'm going to revolve my profile around. So using some different features here, I'm going to just quickly do it the best I can. This has kind of got a circle right here, and we're just going to do as quickly as we can just trace this profile that's right here. And let's go all the way up. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and trim some extras we got. And so what I don't want is, oh, we're not quite ready for that yet. Let's go ahead and just make this line here. Now, this is starting to make an interesting profile shape. You can use a bunch of lines. I'm gonna make it easy on me and I'm gonna use this spline tool. So at the end of my line, I'm just going to follow this path right here. Now, spline is a little interesting, kind of the, when curves are starting to change a whole lot, you notice I'm using more points kind of down here where this curve happens. But if it's straight for a little while, you can kind of get away with using longer points of intersection. And then I'm gonna double click this, right click, okay. Now you're gonna see a bunch of green lines. Those green lines don't need to worry about, totally okay. It's this blue line here that is important. Does that follow the profile? I'm gonna say it does a pretty good job so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep on going on. We're gonna use spline tool again, and I'm just gonna start following this profile some more. Now I know I'm not making exactly a really good dimensioned. If you notice my cup right now is really small, but uh, we can scale it up if we want to 3D print it. We're just gonna keep following along. Keep using that spline tool. Uh, if we remember, I did do a video not too long ago, well, I guess it was a while ago, with the uh, two faces optical illusion. That was a pretty cool video where I use the same method where I spline an image. 
So if an image has kind of an irregular shape, you can use spline to follow kind of odd curvatures. We're gonna go from here. Now there's one thing, since that center line is gonna be hollowed out, I'm not gonna go to zero, zero with this line. I'm gonna be just a little bit to the left of it. And we'll see why here in a moment. Um, that way, when I do my revolve, there's gonna be a hollowed out feature. Knit T on my keyboard and go ahead and trim up some things I know I will not need. Um, and let's go ahead and finish what we got here. Um, we got that. Looks okay. And let's do another circle. Connect those two pieces. Let's trim some of this up. And this looks okay. What I'm gonna do, just to make sure before I exit out of the sketch, is my, are my geometries fully constrained? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to canvases, I'm gonna make canvases disappear. And I know I'm running into a problem with, not with this body down here, because you can see the inside of it's shaded light blue. I know there's a problem with this body right here not being fully contained. So let's do a little bit of troubleshooting, and I find out this is not actually an enclosed geometry at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit L key, make a line there, and there we go. Now we are fully, um, I would say, enclosed geometry. It's not fully constrained. Sorry about that. It is fully enclosed, meaning when I go to revolve it, I know it's going to make a full body. So let's go ahead and hit finish sketch. Let's now revolve this and this about this center axis. Let's do a full 360 here. And go ahead and click OK. Now we run into a little bit of a problem here is we're not quite done yet. So let's go ahead and make a section analysis of this right here. And what we see is that this, this top piece and this inside, or so the bottom piece right here, aren't connected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a sketch right on this profile plane. Now what we're gonna do is I'm just going to draw a line kind of enclosing all of this geometry right here. Now I know I'm not to be super particular because what it's going to be is going to be a join. So if there's any overlapping, we're okay. I'm going to click finish sketch. All right, now let's do a revolve feature of, let's do um, wrong axis there. So there's my profile. My axis is going to be, make sure I can click on this correctly. Well, let me do it. Now, well, let me click on that. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up an old sketch. Let's bring up that same construction plane and let's revolve it around the same thing. So now we can see that my profile I just added right there is going to add around. Right now it's a cut, so let's do a join. And instead of 270 degrees, let's do uh, 145. That way we can see this wrapping around just a little bit, but it doesn't go the full way around. If it went all the way around, it'd be fully enclosed and then it wouldn't be a Pythagorean cup at that point. It would just kind of be like a hidden capsule on the inside. Click OK. And now that looks OK. Let's check our section and analysis right here. So down, drop down menu, check out my section. And that looks OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this a little bit and make sure the rest of that cross section looks okay. And we're looking all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. We have made the Pythagorean cup in Autodesk Fusion. What this next video is gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm actually gonna create a section view drawing of this cup. All right, guys, that'll be it. And I will catch you on the next video.